Tonight, we have two of college basketball's top five teams in action as the number one Gonzaga Bulldogs are going to face West Coast Conference opponent BYU. And I'm Robert Shaw. The Chiefs and the Browns matched up as the Chiefs begin their Super Bowl title defense and the Browns try and get their second playoff win in nearly two decades. Something's got to give. NBA All-Star Weekend in Atlanta is coming up, and it'll be a little different this year with the three-point contest being at halftime. But they should still put me in. When James Harden was with the Houston Rockets, he was a top five scorer in the league every year. But ever since he's got with the Brooklyn Nets, he's been leading the league in assists, and the transition has been like a layup. It's Black History Month, and we're celebrating black athletes everywhere. Jackie Robinson was the first black athlete in Major League Baseball. I guess you could say he opened some doors. I'm Robert Shaw, here to speak with Rohan Johnson, CEO of Lionheart Basketball, about how the pandemic has changed his business. Ro, how has the pandemic affected your business? Uh, it made, made it a lot tougher to uh, get into gyms. Um, kids have to come in and wear masks once we ha finally got a gym and we're limited to the time. So we unfortunately only have a gym one day a week. So schedule is jam packed. And I don't get to as many high school games as I would like to. So that's a way that affects my business. Are you offering any new services now? Yeah, so we have a couple of uh, mentorship, online mentorship programs. We have VIP trainings where we fly out to your city and we train players from all over. Um, and then we also have uh, the Lionheart Basketball Academy. It's online now. And then we also have uh, consulting for coaches and trainers. Here with Marlboro Senior, Elijah Hollinsworth. How long have you been working out with Rohan? About two years. What do those workouts normally look like? Just basically dribbling, shooting, finishing, everything. And what's changed since the pandemic? How have your workouts been different now? The mask, I mean, because I wear a mask and stuff, but the workouts are the same. I'm Robert Shaw, signing off for Full Sail Live. <laughs> Ever seen a team fight for its playoff life? That was the Philadelphia 76ers today, as they're down 0-2 to the Boston Celtics, and a loss all but ends their season. No team has ever come back from a 3-0 deficit in the NBA. So Philadelphia would leave it all on the floor in a game that featured 15 lead changes and 12 ties. Early first quarter action, we're going to get a Jason Tatum dunk off the Al Horford assist. Philly had a tough time dealing with Tatum. He was 11-17 from the floor for 24 points. Here's three of them right here. Payal. Jumping ahead midway through the second, Marco Bellinelli finds Ersan Ilyasova for a trade ball of his own. Still second quarter, and we're going to have a Boston turnover. Ben Simmons is going to pick the ball up, drop it back to Joel Embiid, and Joel Embiid's going to drop a hammer. Fourth quarter action with Philly down one, Joel Embiid up and under to give Philly a lead of their own. Tied at 75, Jason Tatum, excuse me Robert Covington, I'm on my way to the basket. 83-81, Philly trails, right until Joel Embiid puts out Horford in the basket to tie it. Tied at 87s, we have a Philly turnover. Rozier to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, 1.7 seconds left. Philly is down. Marco Bellinelli, 36 minutes, 12 points, one giant bucket to force OT. 89 everywhere. Minute 30 left in OT. Jason Tatum versus Joel Embiid. Winner, Tatum. But Ben Simmons is going to extend Philly's lead here with a little pick and roll action and a spinning layup over Shane Larkin. Boston is down until they inbound to Horford, who gets a bucket, puts him up one, and Horford's not done. He's going to steal this inbound pass, get fouled, and in a game where Boston shot 14 free throws, none were bigger than the two he hit then. Marco Bellinelli, desperation heave for the tie. No good. Boston leads 3-0.